So the water questions are very important. First one is uh, long term. So short term, we'll look to the aquifers. And, and again, we want to want to map all the aquifers and particularly the deeper aquifers that no one's accessed. But the long term to be, you know, if you want uh, our strategy long term is to build a desalination plant at the coast next to the Guadalajara port and we'll pipe the water uh, back to the mine. Um, the same with, this, with the, uh, the local water, as you say, uh, you know, the life expectancy in that region is very low, 50 years or 55 years, because most people die of uh, kidney failure because of the brackish water. And so we see potable water as a human right. So we will be working with the community, the government, uh, to ensure that we invest some of our first dollars will be focused on ensuring access to proper pure, uh, drinkable water. It's one of the, you know, water, potable water around the world. If you, if you give people fresh, clean water, you take away 50% of all diseases, S straight away. In Baluchistan, you will give people a longer life immediately. So it's an investment we are very committed, committed to. On the concentrate, we'll be concentrating the metals into a concentrate. Uh, initially, we will truck them. Why? Because the, we are also really focused on the economic benefits. So as we start developing the mine and the, the businesses, etc., we will truck the initial concentrates. As we get more and more, of course, we will be piping it, pumping it uh, to uh, the Guadalajara port. And, uh, and so the long-term solution is to, is to pump the concentrate to the port. And, and you know, the, the intention then is if we, when a smelt is built, that's the right place as well. So, um, look, I can't work, talk for the World Bank, but uh, the IFC is a very special uh, institution that is uh, designed by uh, the members of the World Bank to support the emerging markets in this world today. And, and in my early start of my career, I started Rand Gold. It was a private company and developed it. I used the IFC in uh, parts of Africa where no one else wanted to invest. Um, and, and the IFC have become a lot more sophisticated over the last 30 years in how it supports uh, development of economies. That's its objective. Remember, the World Bank is focused on, along with the IMF, on countries and country economics. The IFC is focused on how business participates in the development of uh, countries' economies. The, the, it's a private focus. So, and of course, as you know, the IFC brings a certain level of uh, insurance, risk insurance, because it represents the global membership, the world membership of the World Bank, of which Pakistan is one. 
So, um, so it's a it's a it's a collective insurance, um, and uh, and and also it comes with a lot more regulation, oversight, etc. So it takes a little bit longer, but ideally what we want to do is transform that into private lending, um, and and I can tell you, and, and that's our job, that's our job to manage that, and we've got experience. We're happy we can we can do that. Um, the, uh, what is your second question? What is the difference you have done this time? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a very good question. So, as you know, there was a conflict in the past between Antofagasta and Barrick and Pakistan government, and it ended up in the arbitration, and everyone was fighting, and, uh, and there was an award of $6 billion, or $5 billion plus interest, and, and when I took over, the leadership of Barrick and I've worked in emerging markets, as you know. I, 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 you know, it's difficult for me to get around. How can you do something constructive if you're going to have a fight? Because you know, if we continue on this fight, somebody's going to lose because somebody's going to have to pay a check, uh, and no one benefits. So we reached out uh, in 2019. Um, to uh, the government of uh, Pakistan and said, isn't there a better way to do this? Because we can create enough value. If, if we're gonna fight each other, some, you know, the, the, the World Bank has made the judgment that Pakistan has to write out a check, uh, a, a arbitration award check. But isn't it better if we both all get together and we find a solution where we get our value and Pakistan gets value, and Balochistan gets value, and a whole lot of uh, businesses in, in Pakistan benefit from this deal. So it's like a win, you know, there are very few win-wins in the world, but this is one of them. So we said, why don't we do that? And that's why when you look at how we negotiating and settling this, this is a collective solution. So to find a positive outcome from a negative situation, that's the objective. And we certainly have arrived at that point. Because remember, in the old structure, Pakistan only had 20, uh, uh, 25%. It's now got 50. The, um, it was shared between Antifagasta and ourselves. We found a way that uh, Antifagasta doesn't want to do this. Uh, we are, that's our business. Um, we, we are comfortable to take the risk. We believe in uh, the opportunities that Pakistan offers, and we believe that that's our business. We're a global mining company. We're there to help, in a partnership way, develop the emerging markets economies. Because if we do not worry about the rest of the world, and you always migrate to the first world or the developed world, we won't have a future in this in this world. We'll just not have a future, and so. Part of that is investing in natural resources. So that's the, that's the difference. Um, this is a collective joint venture partnership to, to develop something that will benefit all the stakeholders uh, that are involved in this, and so long-term gain. So we, we won't be, uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, okay, right, good. And I think the responsibility is more than that, that when you are investing in the world and talk of mining and production, yeah, for me as a journalist, as someone helps an environment, it's more important than investment, I am curious. 
So, um, it's, it's a, no, no, I got that. I'm going to ask the last one first. So, we can, we can you know, the, the point about is being responsible. It's like me saying to you, uh, do you know the, imp the, the global impact of Karachi on the environment? It's enormous. You get in your car, you drive home, you impact the environment. It's how we manage that impact. I think using the South African um, asbestosis crisis is looking back to apartheid and the history, deep gold mining, no ventilation, etc. That is not what we do. Um, so it's about responsible mining. Otherwise, we should all go uh, take all those uh, video cameras and give them back, including all your cell phones, your buckle on your belt, uh, your shoes. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that come from mining. Um, maybe part of this hotel, so we wouldn't have much left. So it, we, me, humankind requires mining. It's a fact. We all would like, you know, and, and most people who criticize mining haven't been there. Um, it's also, if you look at the big industrial countries of this world today, they come out of mining. And they transition from mining, heavy industry, and then services. That's the way people, and, and to deny the majority of the humanity the opportunity to develop is, is it's the challenge we have in this modern world is how do we do it responsibly to ensure that future generations have the privilege of living on this planet and I can assure you because I work in countries which with real poverty is if we don't uplift the poor people we will not have a future on this planet so so that, that's a challenge we will always have. And it's about you and me working responsibility to ensure that we manage our impact. And your point about the South African mining industry, deep level mining, asbestosis, we don't want to go there. We don't go there anymore. We have vent ventilators. We have a lot of ventilation. We mo monitor our workers for uh, uh, industrial health things all the time. And, and we are responsible and, um, to, to ensure we don't get those diseases. Um, and we've just pointed out, part of this mining is going to take away those kidney failure cases in that region, which without mining, they'll never have a chance. Um, on the workers' side, um, it's not Barrick that creates the work. It's the investment, the whole investment, the, the government, the SOEs, of course, Barrick, the Balochistan government, the Pakistan government. It's about this project. If we develop this project and it works, which it will, 